Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm Russ Pierrera, and I got with me. What was your name? Yeah, Lucas. It's Lucas Spendiff. Spendiff. Dummy. Yeah. Anyhow. So they were actually making the fishbowl martini, something I've been seeing a lot and actually been wanting to try and been kind of curious about it. How about you? I saw it online today. Makes me want to try it. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah. yeah. It takes a lot to make it. Well, no, really? Three ounces of this, three ounces of that. Well, it depends on what size bowl you make it in. Make it this well, size and be a lot less. True. It's 30 ounces of alcohol. Nerds and sweetest fish. Can't go wrong. No, oh, nerds and Swedish fish, you cannot. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyhow, speak on nerds. Measure it out. Half the cup. Oh, and you're... Ex why? Because I cook at home and you expect me to measure properly? Oh, well, yeah, it helps. <laughs> well, I don't know about him. Yeah. I can't do anything until you put that in, so... <laughs> Maybe I should. Yeah, half the cup. Half cup. Looks enough to me. Yeah, that's good enough. Half cup. Yeah, the main key is to kind of keep it inside the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing I do, add rice. Which fortunately happened to melt nerds, blood. <laughs> I think they're all in nerds. or sugar and flavor. Sugar and flavor. Awesome. And melted ice. Not too good. <laughs> melted ice, not good at all. Nah. No. Yeah. That's good. You want to have the ice, not the water. Right, next thing I'm going to do is take the sweet fish. Sweet fish. About like four or five in there. Just throw them in there. Yeah, kind of keep them off to the side. Keep yeah. them off to the side. Oh, yeah, I like that picture I saw. Just the one. Different, play, different colors if you can. No, really? We want the same color all the time. Yeah, it's one of them. All you have is three colors. Oh, well, you have another green. <laughs> it's in there. It's all nice. Okay. Now you will measure out the coconut rum. I'll measure out the vodka. Going with vodka, bitch vodka, because I've been having a few recipes for them. So, I'm, well, I was so where do I put that? To uh, well, you're doing about three and a half ounces. So you put up two, to here is two ounces, and then the uh, half, one and a half. Yep. Well, you're doing three and a half, so you do yeah, yeah, three, two ounces, that, and, and then that. Yeah, okay. one and a half. Yeah, that's usually how your math goes together. Yes, I haven't been in school in a while. So. Yeah, I think three and a half is not exactly the hardest thing to measure. You know. This thing is starting to look like a death trap. Oh, it'll hit you in the end. I think video is. Oh, as long as it helps me not be mad when I go home to my bitch of an ex girlfriend, I don't give a shit. What it does? Yeah, you gotta do my <coughs> color commentary with this episode. Huh? A <laughs> little bit of color commentary. Oh, damn right. Hmm. And now what, B? You would measure out the blue carousel, about two ounces. I would do the sweet and sour mix, which is four. Okay. I would say, you know, it's at the top of the glass. Well, top of the marker. Well, I had it on right on. There's just a smidge below it. Yeah, it still works. As long as it's blue. Do you have the blues, Pete? Do you? I don't know. I only want people around. Hey, you got the blues. There you go. If you want to eat your fish, do it. Yeah, usually helps. Mm -hmm. And you want to do six and a half ounces pineapple, which I'll do. Okay, go right ahead. I'm not getting all over myself, but I just did. <laughs> oh, I put your pain ass. Don't buy it about that. Or that's our stage hand. There's four. Six. And I'm about to kick somebody's ass in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Six and a half. <laughs> 
Yeah. Boop. I guess that works. Hey, more Swedish to, to make it better. Yeah. Look at these looking at Swedish bitches. Yeah. Right. Then you want to do about ten and a half ounces of spray. <laughs> You're gonna eat all of them. Oh, nah. No, t no twenty second rule in this case. It's not a 20 second rule. Yeah, it's going for it's a 15 while, right? minute rule. I'm going to roll my ass. <laughs> Eight. Getting closer. Have that one, huh? I don't like Swedish fish that much, so don't be throwing too many. <laughs> you really got to make it a fish bowl. Yeah, screw it. Yeah, a little more water. Sprite. A little bit more Sprite. He gets magical fish. I would just walk over and put it one in and go, the magic handle. Anyhow, hand me the, 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 the slices. Hmm? Hand me the slices over there. Okay. What well, you want to do? <laughs> Yeah, you only try to do about like two to three uh, slices each. Just basically, throw them in there. It doesn't really matter exactly how. Just remember, you have to place them. If you throw them, they'll be all over the place. Yeah. Got to use your brain. Doesn't count the fact you have like fifty thousand fish everywhere. Well, blame the magical hand. <laughs> magical hand. Sure. And the plate the ma to the magical hand, so it's out of the way. Alright, there you go, <laughs> Yeah, the fishbowl martini. It's a shitload of alcohol. Yeah. Problem is, I forgot straws. I just gotta drink it out of the bowl. Let's see how it tastes. Okay. Let's try it out. Go barbaric. Yeah. Actually, not bad. Hell, many times I ain't had straws, so what the hell, drink out of the bowl. What do you think? It's like fruit punch in a bowl. Pretty much. You got coconut. You got a lot of tropical flavors to it. You got your citrus. You got your coconut. You got your pineapple. <coughs> you got your lemon lime. A lot of freaking fruit in there. Your vodka. So it's definitely going to be a lot of alcohol. At the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, the fish never seem to stay on top. They always seem to fall to the bottom no matter how you do it. No matter what video I've seen, it always falls to the bottom. But, yeah. And the nerds are discolorating. Very yeah. good. Yeah. It's not actually... fish bone now. I don't know. How would you rate that, though? Just on your first time trying it. About seven or eight. I'd drink that all day. Yeah. Is it... One thing I'm noticing about this is you're not really tasting the alcohol. You're tasting more of the fruit flavor and not much of the alcohol flavor. No, because also remember, you got the nerds on the bottom with the flavor yeah, you get, rising up. And yeah, it's diluting the alcohol flavor. Well, it's actually adding more of a sweetness to it. But it's yeah. also the fact it's rainbow nerds. you got multiple flavors going on. And, eh. Yeah. Eh. A lot of citrus going on there. That's mm. for damn sure. But yeah. It's actually all the mean to fruity. Yeah. You should know fruity for the I don't think so, Pete. Yeah. Anyhow, it's actually a really good cocktail. It's for the first time trying it. It's definitely something I wouldn't drink on my own because I would say it's a shit. It's called a party drink. Yeah. Multiple people, not one person. Well, maybe you, but you try to go and drink this. <laughs> Me, I could drink it by myself. Yeah. I'm fat. <laughs> I probably could too, to a point. Nerds. <coughs> but. Hmm. Oh, we got a lot of pineapple in that drink. Well, the magical hand wants to try it. Magical hand? So, what do you think? <laughs> Tangy? Magical hand is making muddy faces. Tangy? Good, though. 
tart. It's tropical. It has a lot of fruit flavors to it. You got a lot of tropical notes. That's the one thing I noticed about this. And he's drinking like five or six sips. So apparently for a guy who don't like it, he's been drinking a lot. Let <laughs> me guess. Each sip is getting better and better. Yeah, this is off camera. So you don't see, but eventually I would like my bowl back. <laughs> <laughs> the magical hand just jacked our drink. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was a good drink. It's definitely something that if you have a chance you want to try. Which now I'm finally getting back. Yes. Yeah. Which I'm still not drinking, but I got back. It's, it's definitely a good drink. It's definitely something that if you get the ingredients, it's something we're trying out. Modify it a little bit if you want. Make it your own, but it's a really good cocktail. A lot of fruit flavors to it. Make sure you don't forget the straws. Always yeah. have straws. This, was, this size is good for like three, four people. Oh, yeah. Or a couple. Or one, depending on how drunk you want to be, but it's definitely a lot to it. Oh, yeah. Like me. Yeah. I have a bitch and an ex-girlfriend to go home to. Yeah, and on that note, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this cocktail. Definitely like us on Facebook and Hot Spirit Cocktails. You Subscribe must. to our channel. We got plenty of drinks. Obviously, this is one of them now. And... Well, except for this guy, drink responsibly.